right now something is starting oh wow my little pony my little pony my little pony tails my little pony my little pony my little pony tails <laughs> schoolhouse is our very first stop then let's try the ice cream shop my little pony We'll be right back! Alright, now back to My Little Pony Tales. Be careful, don't run! Oh, yep, playground's shaping up real well. You guys were great to help me with my project. The orphan ponies are gonna love this. Is our playground done yet? Okay, it's all yours now! <laughs> well, I guess they like it. Oh, wow, Patch. Did you really used to live here at this orphanage? Sure did, till my parents adopted me. It's not so bad here, but I have to confess, having my own parents would be really nice. You'll get parents someday. Hey, that's the best rainbow I've ever seen! Hey, everybody, look! <laughs> Some rock star? Only a princess would have something like that. Or a queen. Neat. Oh. Are you okay? Uh, I, I think so. I'm sure glad we're finished. Okay, come on, I'll buy everyone ice cream sodas. You too, Rosie. You go on ahead. I'll be there just as soon as I finish with this. What's up? It's the most exciting, no, wonderful, no, terrific news, Pat. Look! The king and queen of the Isle of Pony are coming here? Huh, that must be who we saw. So? So, listen to this. They're looking for their long-lost daughter. A really, truly princess pony could be right here in our very own ice cream shop. It would be so cool to be a princess. Isn't it romantic? Yeah, if you like that sort of stuff. But what's all this princess nonsense got to do with us? Well, listen to this. The princess pony was lost at sea when she was just a tiny baby. Her birthday is March 16th. Wow, that's your birthday too, Pat. Yeah, well, so lots of people have my birthday. She has bright pink hair. Pink hair? Just like Pat? Yellow eyes? Oh my gosh! What else, Starlight? And a red birthmark on her front right hoof. Look, it's right here. Patch, you are the princess. I never noticed that before. <laughs> it's a good thing I found it then. <laughs> Face it, Patch, you're a princess. And I'm the best friend of a princess. Uh, help, this is too much. This is great news. I'll have to make a cake. Hey, wait a minute. This can't be true. It is true. Your birthday is March 16th. You have bright pink hair, yellow eyes, you have the spot on your hoof, and after all, you were adopted. I always knew you were really, truly special. Hmm. My parents always said I was special, too. Maybe I am a princess. <laughs> Rosie, you'll never believe it. Patch is a real princess. Come on, help us get her ready to meet the king and queen. Sure, whatever you say. Hi, honey. Would you and your friends like some cookies and milk? No, thanks, Mom. We're in kind of a hurry. Kids always in a hurry. All right, let's see what we've got. 
Oh boy, I don't know what a princess would wear, but I must have something in here. What do you think, guys? Guys? Yeah. Patch, we have to do better than this. Yeah. We'll fix you up. A princess must look beautiful, her outfit must seem grand. So we'll use this bit of lace and this tattered pillowcase and whatever else we find on hand. A princess must look beautiful and dress with style and flair. So we'll make a royal cape by recycling that old tape and some fringe from that old easy chair. A princess must have diamonds strung from end to end. But look, your mom has all these rhinestones. A princess must look tailored, trim as she can be. You don't want those jelly beans, give them all to me. We try to make you beautiful, somehow by hook or crook. For a princess must look beautiful. And surprise! <laughs> That's how I look? Are you sure about this? It doesn't seem like me. Patch, if you can't trust us, who can you trust? Oh, they're right. You're really beautiful. Oops, my hair rinse is coming out. Oh, well. There. Gee, Rosie, I didn't know your natural color was pink. Oh, yeah, it's fun to try different hair colors. We'd better be going. Um, uh, first, let me help my dad. Patch? A princess would never ever do something so ordinary. Get with it, Patch. Once you're a princess, you won't be living with them anymore. I won't? Gee, I guess I won't, will I? Come on, everybody! Oh, don't you look nice. A real beauty you are. But I think that even when your face is smudged with dirt. <laughs> I bet you're off to the Little Pony Theater for an audition. I, I guess you could call it an audition. If that's what you want, Patch Dear, go for it. Yeah, we just want our girl to be happy. Yeah. It's getting late, Patch. Yeah. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. I I love you. <laughs> Who are they kidding? None of them can even come close to matching the princess. I can't see. How many are there? <laughs> oh. Look! I'm sorry, my dear, but you are not my daughter. The king and queen are so wonderful. You're so lucky, Patch. Yeah, lucky. Next. You know, this is probably just a waste of time. Why don't we leave now? Hold on. Patch. I, I, I can't do this. <laughs> What could be wrong? Come on! Oh, there she is! Come on, get her! Why did you run away? I don't want to live in some fancy place or dress up every day. Patch, get with it! You don't want to be a princess? I especially don't want to leave my parents. Would you want to leave your mother? Well, no, of course not. No. Oh, if it wasn't for this dumb birthmark, what? Look! It's coming off! You're right, it is. This looks a lot like the paint we were using on the playground. Oh, fantastic! I'm not the princess after all, and I don't have to wear this stuff anymore. Oh. Patch, you gotta be the princess. Who else fits the description? Pink hair, yellow eyes, and March 16th birthday? Oh, that's my birthday too. Yeah, but do you have a red birthmark on your right front hoof? Sure, so what? 
You do? Oh my gosh! Rosie is the real princess! Me? Uh, are you sure? I'm so happy it's you, Rosie, and not me! You know, we better get back to the king and queen before they leave. Yeah! I was so hoping this time we would find her. Someday we will find her, my dear. We must keep hoping. Responsible for this. I, I am, sir, but it, it's for a very good reason. May I present to you and the Queen, Princess Rosie. Is it possible? Only one way to know for sure. We found our daughter at last. Oh, Mom, Dad. I just really truly love happy endings. Me too. We'll be right back in just a moment. My Little Pony Tales is back. Miss us? Today we're going to study history and mechanics. Now, this is called a pulley. You use it to lift heavy weights. Ahem, <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of little ponies who don't want recess today. That's better? Now then, as I was saying, this is called a pulley. Uh, oh, I, I feel a little faint. Are you okay, Miss Hackney? Well, I, I'm a bit dizzy for some reason. Oh, I may have a touch of fever. I, I really don't think I should teach today. So, uh, we should all just go home, huh? Oh, no, no, no. I always record my lessons just in case something like this happens. Uh, Starlight, will you come up here, please? Yes, Miss Hackney? Now, I want you to teach the class today. You do? Yes, just play this tape and make sure everyone studies their history and the lesson on mechanics. I... I expect all of you to mind Starlight as you would me. I'll try to come back later today. Hey, who did that? I hope I don't have to cancel recess today. Ow! <laughs> Melody. Oh, okay. Just because Miss Hackney isn't here doesn't mean we're not going to learn. Let's see what lesson she has on the tape. Melody, if you wanted to lift a hundred pound sack of flour four feet in the air, how would you use a pulley to do it? Melody, stop listening to your music. Bon Bon, do you know the answer? If you wanted to lift a hundred pound sack of flour four feet in the air, I didn't think so. Oh, I know! Bon Bon would eat it! <laughs> that does it! Bright Eyes, Sweetheart, come up here. Maybe we can make them understand the importance of learning their lessons. Lessons, lessons, pay attention to your lessons. Though they may be tiring, knowledge is a precious thing. Not much glamour, learning all the rules of grammar. Still the things we learn at school may someday be a helpful tool. We should study history, it offers lessons at almost every turn. Study well each episode, you'll thank your stars for the things you learn. Reading, writing doesn't always seem exciting. Still next time you get depressed when cramming for to study for a spell. Someday it might come to pass. You'll use the things you learn in class. So learn your lessons well. Learn your lessons well. Okay, if that's the way you want to 
be, I'm going to report everyone to Miss Hackney. Stop! Oh, oh, it's it's oh, what am I doing wrong? I don't want everyone to hate me, but Miss Hackney trusted me to help her out. You're trying to be Miss Hackney instead of just being yourself. Everyone can have fun and still learn their lessons. Hmm, you're right. You're right! So, did you report us? <laughs> I have a better idea. We are going on a field trip. But Miss Hackney said for us to learn our Ponyland history. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Follow me. That's Pony Rock. The first pony settlers discovered Ponyland from up there. How do you know? Because she's the teacher, that's how. Listen, there's more. The very first pony settlers lived in what they now call Pinto Cave. I bet that's Pinto Cave over there! Pinto Cave is now off limits to little ponies because no pony in modern times has ever fully explored it. Patch, come back here! The entrance. Let's go inside. Wait, don't go in there! We're not supposed to be in here. It's dangerous. Oh, come on, Starlight. How could something so beautiful be dangerous? I guess we can explore just a little. What about our history lesson? Yeah, this can be our classroom today. Isn't it getting kind of dark in here? Yeah, somebody hit the light switch. I got an emergency flashlight. Look! The archway to the past. How do you know? I know. I just made it up. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Uh, as your teacher and the pony in charge of your safety, I don't think it's a good idea to go in there. Great, let's go! Ah! Uh, everyone okay? Look, over there! Maybe it's some old pony treasure! Come on! Let's see if I can open it! We're rich! Oh yeah, real rich. If old tools were money. Don't spend it all at once, Ace. I bet this is a wagon hitch from the Pony Settlers. Wow, a real piece of Ponyland history. And we found it. Let's take it back and show it to Miss Hackney. That's a good idea. We should be getting back anyway. <laughs> sure is slippery. Now we can handle it. I'll pull you push. <laughs> You have to be very careful. There's minimal traction. Yeah, it's slick, too. Well, the good news is nobody's hurt. The bad news is we can't get out of here. We might never be found down here. Let's not panic, because the pony settlers got in here and they got out. All we have to figure out is how. Sure, easy as pie. Wait a second. Maybe there's something useful on Miss Hackney's tape. Our pony ancestors were very clever and learned how to use the things around them as tools for such things as finding food and to lift heavy objects. That's it! If the pony settlers could do it, so can we! Well, is anybody gonna help me or do you all want to stay here until we're older than the settlers? Of course! With this wagon hitch and that wheel, we can make a pulley. Yeah, just like the drawing Miss Hackney showed us this morning. Hey, this is cool! <laughs> I never thought I'd actually use something I learned in school! Uh-oh, my batteries ran out! Oh, I hate the dark! Don't worry, Clover, you're with friends. What good are friends if you can't see them? I have an idea. We can use the batteries from the tape recorder. I'll do it! There! Now try it, Patch! Hey, we're back in business! Clover, Bon Bon! Help get the wheel onto the bar. That's it. Now, where's the rope that was in that old trunk? Here it is. Catch! All right, pull it tight. There, one pulley ready for action. Okay, walk it over to the opening. Now anchor it. Now wedge that end into the rocks up there. It's just tall enough. I, I think it'll work. Okay, Clover, you're first. All right, everybody, pull. Just take it slow and easy. One down. Clover, toss your end of the rope back to us. 
You got it! Okay, Bon Bon, you're next. Mm, come on, Ace! Almost there! <laughs> All right, we did it! Uh, Starlight, who's gonna pull Ace up here? Hey, no sweat! I'm the best athlete in school, remember? Show off! This is dead easy! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Like I said, dead easy. Okay, let's eat. Okay, we're all safe. Everyone back to the schoolhouse. Miss Hackney, are you feeling better? Oh yes, much better, thank you. Starlight, this is for you for being the substitute teacher. Oh, well, thank you. So, have you all done your lessons for today? Yes, Miss Hackney. We just followed your tape. Ace even gave us a demonstration on how to use a pulley. Well, I am glad to hear that. I've always said learning should be fun, right, class? Yes, Miss Hackney. <laughs> Don't stray too far. We'll be right back. Hey. Try the ice cream shops. 